How you doing? Good. Yeah? You did it all. Okay. The only problem I had, no pain. Okay. But it did bleed a bit. Okay. Very little. Okay. What What did you suspect of? Uh, cotton or gauze. No, no, no. The gauze was just back there because I didn't, that tooth was fractured. And I didn't want, as I was removing the tooth, I knew it was going to fracture into pieces. I didn't want anything getting back into your airway. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was just a safety measure. So this shouldn't be? No. It's going to be fine. So anyway, because it shouldn't have us when you were stripped in that. No, not tonight. No, you were stripped tonight. Okay. But, um, so basically what we did was we took out the, the fractured tooth. Okay. I, I did it very conservatively without making any decisions because I wanted to protect the implant that we have in front of the oh, tooth sure. that's from before. So we didn't have to involve the implant in front of the site at all. Okay. So, um, we pretty much dissected part of the tooth out just to make sure that we preserved the bone and the adjacent area. Cleaned out any infection, which there was none. We just make sure we flush everything out. Okay. And um, the good news is I was able to place the implant as an immediate extraction and placement. And we bone grafted the, the growth sites and everything. So we're going to be good. We just have to let it sit for a few months and then sure. we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. Okay? Now, in retrospect, did I make the right decision? Yeah, I think it was a good decision. Okay. Because I think that you, because you're a bruxer, if you would have um, tried to save that tooth, you would have to get a root canal that would have dried out the tooth even more, made it more susceptible to fracture, more brittle, and you would have gone through a whole bunch of steps. And like you said, you've had great success with implants, so um, I definitely supported you on this decision. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Very good news.